Chef Buck here and today we're going to make a super easy one pot mole. Mole can be very simple or complex. It doesn't matter. You can put anything that you want in a mole. The main thing that you want to have is some kind of dried pepper. And this is the kind of pepper that I like to have as an ancho, which is just a poblano pepper. This here is a poblano pepper. And once a poblano pepper is dried, then it's called an ancho. But this is the same thing. I like to bend this bag and get some, some softer peppers because they're easier to handle if they're a little pliable. Some of them are like overly dry. So I like them when they're a little more easier to manipulate. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to de-stem. So I'm going to pull the stem out of here and put it in my uh, compost. And then there's a lot of seeds in here. We don't want any of the seeds. So you just open it up like a purse and get rid of all your seeds. And some of them will be stuck in there, but you don't have to be militant about it. If some of the seeds make their way into your mole, that's just fine. That's just character. Let me get another pepper here. Get the seeds out of there. So this will be a second ancho pepper. Now I'll go ahead and use this uh, New Mexico pepper as well. I think the last time I used the New Mexico peppers, I put two of these in there and it was like pretty hot. But just all these seeds in here, you just don't want to get those into your mole unless you're going to grind up your seeds which I'm not going to do any grinding in this uh, mole recipe. I'm, it's just a super simple uh, recipe that I'm making. I'm not doing anything too fancy. I mean you can have your whole stove filled with pots doing all kinds of different complex uh, plates spinning and rabbits out of hats and just a giant magic show to make your mole. Or you can just do it in one pot super simple which is what I'm doing. So now we've got a nice little bit of pepper there. I'm not going to use a lot of oil because like I said, this is one pot. So I don't want to have a bunch of oil I have to get rid of. While my oil's heating up, let me chop up a couple other things over here. I got some habanero peppers I need to get rid of. Chef Buck, you got to have it spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we got to get rid of these doohickeys. And I'm just going to cut them in half and get these uh, seeds and stems out of here. And that's all I'm going to do. And you don't have to put in any fresh peppers. You can put in whatever you like that's fresh. So there I got me some peppers. So I think my oil is hot enough. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in my uh, peppers right here. And I'll just let these sizzle in the bottom of the pan here for a few moments. And I haven't chopped these up into any kind of smaller pieces. Because everything eventually is going to go in the blender. So all you need for this mole, to make a homemade mole, is a pot and a blender. And then I'm going to use one and a half onion and I'm just giving this stuff a rough chop because like I said it's all going to go in the blender eventually. Come over here camera girl. Stirring my peppers around a little bit. For thickener in your mole you can use nuts. So I'm going to put some almonds in here. Boom boom boom. But I'm not going to use all almonds. I'm going to use some peanuts too because peanuts are a little less expensive than almonds. So we'll throw that in there and I got these spread on one part of the pot and that'll add a little flavor. And you can also use bread as a thickener. I got some uh, old heels in the freezer. There you go, just a couple of old bread heels. So we're stirring around our nuts, we're stirring on around our peppers, what else? Let me go ahead and throw uh, some of my fresh ingredients in here. I got some garlic here. This is that many cloves. Now you can also add some dried fruit in here. Let's see, I got some apricots. But these are expensive, aren't they? Yes. So we're not going to use apricots. Camera Girl doesn't like dark raisins. So I'm going to use these raisins up. So we'll throw some raisins in there. What about some prunes? These are pitted prunes. Theoretically, I'm going to give them a squeeze to make sure there's no pits in there. What else can we put in here? Hey, I got a banana. We got this little dinky do banana. Because you could put uh, any kind of fruit. You could put literally anything you want into this mole. Have you ever bought these little bananas? These are the perfect size. But this one's getting a little long in the tooth. So we'll throw that in there. So we got all these flavors sauteing away. 
We're getting a little bit of color on them. I'm gonna put a little dried cumin in here. You could use cumin seeds if you want, but then you'd probably want to toast those up and grind them beforehand. I little, got a little ground oregano. This is just oregano powder, but you can use the flakes if you want. Come on over here, camera girl. I'm gonna slice up a few tomatoes. Oops. <laughs> We're just gonna give this stuff a rough chop and toss it in our pot. All right, so I think we got a little bit of a sear on a lot of this stuff here. Now, when I'm putting the water in here, I want to make sure that I don't put too much. I just want to put enough in here to let these ingredients cook down and let these peppers rehydrate. And plus, these other ingredients are going to release a lot of moisture. So I want just barely enough to cover up these ingredients. Here's a thought. Let me throw a little bit of salt in here, just in case. And then that's it. I don't need a lot of extra seasoning in here because all of these other ingredients are going to bring a lot of flavor. So now I'll just cover up, let it bubble away, and we'll check on it in just a little bit. You can see how much liquid is going to come out of those other ingredients. Beep, 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 beep. All right, so it's just been bubbling away for a couple of minutes. And you can see how much liquid has already been released. So I'm going to go ahead and lower it down to medium, medium low. You can see how everything's covered up by liquid here. And those onions still have a lot more uh, moisture to let out. So this is plenty wet enough. But I'm going to go ahead and cover it up and let it simmer away for about a half hour. We'll check on it then. Beep, 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 beep. And I have stirred this a couple of times. And I think it has cooked down enough. I'll go ahead and pour some of this liquid off here because I definitely don't want to put more liquid than I need to in the blender. I just want to add what I desire. Remember the toast? Let's go ahead and toast it up a little bit more. and We'll put, add some of that into our mix here. Well, let me see if I can get it in here without making too much of a mess. Let me blend up half of it. In fact, let me throw one of my pieces of toast in here uh, from earlier because that's going to add a thickener. It's going to make our stuff a little more pasty. Now, one thing I didn't add when it was cooking was chocolate. Like I could have threw some dark chocolate in here and made it kind of a, a chocolatey mole. And a lot of times when you see a mole and it's super dark it's because it's got chocolate in there. But chocolate is for dessert. <laughs> All righty, let me give this a little bit of a pulsy pulse. Let me put the, the rest of this in here. So I got all of it out of here. Probably will add some of my liquid, but I just don't want it to be too liquidy when I put it in here. Super duper thick. So I could put my other heel in here if I wanted to, but I think I'm not going to because it's pretty thick already. So I add just a little bit more liquid in there and stir it up. Well, I think that looks smooth enough. So now we've got a nice thick mole. Ah. It is so good. It is not nearly as spicy as you would think. Go ahead and give it a taste and tell me how spicy that is. It's got a little it, bit of heat, but it's not like, it's not that's inedible. delicious. Exactly. It's and super like duper it tasty. I like it thicker where it works. You can use it in all different kinds of ways. It freezes very well. You can make a double recipe of this. You can make a triple recipe. You can get a big pot and make a huge pot of it. This is huge. That there, that's not even going to be two bottles. You know, I've got two bottles right here, but that's not even going to fill up both of those bottles. Oh, what do you want to eat? What are we going to have? You want to do the potato with that on it? <laughs> okay, I guess we could do that. I guess we're having potatoes for lunch with mole. You know, with the prep and all this stuff, we got a nice mole here in 45 minutes, something like that. I'll have a recipe over at myfoodchannel.com. You can sort of use that as a loose framework. Make a mole. Uh, tell me what you think. And uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the future. Bye-bye.